Hey guys, Jason here trying to record this video again. My office has become a hot zone for hide and seek. And, um, well, let's hope we can make it through uh, this few minutes of conversation. And I'm going to start off by talking about the head and shoulders pattern. So someone in our chat room has said, asked me a question today, is this a typical head and shoulders pattern because I have no idea where to draw the neckline. And that was a really good point. In a typical head and shoulders pattern, we have our left shoulder, our head, and then our right shoulder. So weird, dude. Looks like this. Okay, head and shoulders. Kind of a weird drawing, but bear with me. Where we draw the neckline is we connect the lows of our first dip after the left shoulder and the initial dip before we see the rise of our second shoulder. What that does is it tells us and gives us a really nice trend line or area that we can use as an actionable signal to start trading this pattern. So should we come back down, break below this nice dotted trend line, that would be the break of our technical pattern, which is a head and shoulders, nice neckline break, that's your actionable signal. So the problem that we are having, and the root of the question that was proposed to me today, was we don't really have a clear neckline on this head and shoulders. So here's our left shoulder, our head, coming all the way down here, our right shoulder, and then we say, all right, well, how do we draw this guy? Because if we're doing what you just told me to do, we take the low, and the low, and we have a crazy sloping line that says it's not really useful in this particular exercise, right? We would have to drop all the way down to around 1200 by April 23rd for this neckline to break. So is it a typical head and shoulders pattern? No. Are you going to play a neckline technical break on this pattern? No. What you're going to do, you're going to be watching your daily lows and play the break of 1280.922. All this has done is tell us that the bulls do not have the strength right now to continue this uptrend after finding a high of 1346. They just don't have the ability to get back over this major 1326 resistance, and we see a pullback. So that's what's going on on the daily time frame. I'm still looking for that 1280 break. And let's go look at the short-term time frames to get an idea of what's going on and what we can expect for the next 24 hours or so. So zooming into the hourly time frame, take a look. We're still in an hourly downtrend. And the downtrend is 1299, 1297. We're setting lower lows, 1286, 1285. And what I'm expecting to see now would be to set another low and a pullback. So this is when we start drawing trend lines, start playing with ideas. We don't really have anything concrete yet. We know we're in an hourly downtrend. In order to break that, we need to snap out of that move. And I just start looking at what fits, what doesn't fit. And I try to find little trend lines and little supports and look for trend changes. So right now, I know that we're in an hourly downtrend. In order to get that hourly trend change, we need to find a higher low, something over 1285, coming back up and setting a higher high over 1292.939. What that'll do is tell me, okay, we're slightly changing this hourly downtrend into an hourly uptrend, and that's the first step toward a more sustained bull move. But in the four hour time frame, you can see we're getting lower lows in the four, lower lower lows and lower highs in the four. So this is that nice macro view of the hourly downtrend. So what do bulls need to do? Let's jump back. Hourly time frame. Let's clear our charts. In order for bulls to turn this around on the hourly time frame, we need to maintain 1285 as a support level. So we don't want to go any lower than that. And what we need to see is bulls come up and get a high over 1297. This is the range that matters right now. We can come down here nicely at 1287 and we get a nice higher low. This higher high or higher low that we need to, to obtain for the bulls is going to change. In that case, we're gonna come down and look at 1292. So let's say this is our new high, lower high. We're gonna come down, see how we interact with 1285 and take it from there. On the weekly time frame and the daily time frame, if you've been following along, the technical setups still show an emphasis toward the bear side. We are still in a nice little weird bear flag situation. And in order to get out of it, the bulls need to do exactly what I just described. Change this hourly downtrend and this four hour downtrend into a nice four hour and hourly uptrend. That's gonna add more confidence, give those RSI levels time to cool off and allow more support patterns and levels to be established that will be uh, more amendable to a longer term bull move. Right now, we don't see that. 
And uh, that trend change is the first signal. So that's what I'll be watching. Uh, thank you for listening to my rambling discussion on necklines and very, very interesting hourly trends. Thank you. Have a good night.